Hey guys, John and Sharice here. Hi. So we want to talk to you guys about something that's really important. Mm. Um, it's affected our family and it's affected a lot of different people out there and a lot of different families out there. Um, and it's something that's very, very serious and it's going on right now. Let's talk about COVID-19 and being positive for COVID-19. Me and Sharice and our son, Peter, who's 11 years old, um, were positive for COVID-19, we found out weeks ago. Um, it's affected us in all in different ways. So we want to talk to you guys about some of the truth, some of the facts, and some of the things that we went through or still are going through because of COVID-19. Um, COVID-19 is very serious. In the beginning when COVID-19 was, you know, first came here to the United States, um, and we were on our first lockdown, obviously we were being very safe. We own a medical center. We have mm -hmm. all the resources of a medical center, all the PPE that we need. Mm -hmm. um, masks, you know, gloves. Everything. Masks, gloves, gowns, the whole nine. Mm -hmm. um, we took it obviously very serious. You know, we were very serious about what was going on. Um, after so long, we never had anybody that we knew that was positive for COVID-19 that we personally knew. Mm -hmm. We talked to patients because we had patients all around the country. Some of them were in hot spots like New York and Washington and stuff like that. And, you know, in Seattle. And they were basically became positive for COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And some of them told us some of the stories that they were going through. But we never personally, you know, got affected by that. When you're getting, like, a story told to you, though, like, you know, obviously you feel for that person. But whether it's a patient, a friend, whatever, even if you see it on social media, you feel for that person. But, like, when it's somebody that either you might know, like, you know, you know, you know. Very personal. Like a personal friend, you know, like me, for instance. Like, I am, I was not a lucky one. And I was the one that, to be honest with you, like, I was the crazy one, you know, like when we went out and stuff like that, because, you know, I don't, I don't like to be sick because I have so many hours that I have to work. So I don't have time to be sick. I don't have time to be down. I don't have time to take a nap. I don't have time to do anything. You know, I make time to do my nails and my hair and all that fun stuff because I have to, but, you know, I don't have time to be down. So I don't want to be sick. So I kept telling John, anytime we ever went anywhere, I'm like, well, I don't want to go like anywhere right now, especially when it first, first, first came out. Yeah. Everybody was scared to death because we didn't know what it was going to do. <clears throat> and to this, to this day, we still don't know all the stuff it's doing. Right. Um, but, you know, I didn't want to go because I'm going to be like, I'm going to be that, I'm going to be that unlucky person that gets sick and gets real sick. I'm like, so I don't want to be that person. So we wore our masks. You know, I would keep my social distancing. I was that one chick that was, you know, we went out to the this fight and, you know, it was right around that same time. And everybody, you know, you see them and they're like, hey, what's up? And, you know, they come and they want to give you like a hug and, you know, like say what's up and everything. And I was being really standoffish. And I'm usually like a really, really nice you know, lovable person. And I'm always like, hi, you know, I give him a hug, a kiss. And, you know, like, but I, at this point I was like, hey, he just do daps, you know, or like, Elbow hey, daps. or, you know, yeah. whatever it was, you know. And people were looking at me like I'm crazy. And I'm like, dude, I don't want to be sick. Like, I don't want to be where I'm at right now. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, that happened. Um, yeah, I mean, it really happened, honestly, <clears throat> after you know, our state, we're in Florida. So at that point, when we started opening up, you know, as things started opening up more, um, you know, obviously, you know, we wanted to get out and do some stuff too. Like we want to go out to have a dinner, you mm -hmm. know, uh, and eat in dining, you know, some of the, some of the things that bring us back to normalcy, right? You know, some of the normal life mm -hmm. that we had before. Yeah, because we were in quarantine forever, it felt like. Yeah, I mean, it, we were essential workers, luckily, because of the medical center. So we were working every day, but it was straight to work and straight home. If we had to stop at gas pumps, we were wearing gloves. We were sanitizing afterwards, sanitizing our credit cards afterwards, mm -hmm. wearing N95 masks because we had them. Mm -hmm. um, just being very, very cautious. We took our son with us to make sure he was cautious with us. He was isolated in a room, yeah, he making sure he was doing his work. distance yeah. learning. Because that's when distance learning was going on. School wasn't over at that mm -hmm. point. So we were really, really cautious. You know, we were oh, really standoffish. Stand <laughs> we took so um, many different steps. To we do took it. a lot of different steps. And then when things started opening up a little bit, you know, we obviously went out to dinner um, a couple times. And, and, you know, that's basically what we did. We didn't do anything crazy. It wasn't like that. Um, but, you know, after a few weeks or whatever, I think it was in, you know, early June, you know, Cherie started getting feeling a little sick. 
right? Yeah. So at that point, what happened was, was you know, obviously because we have Titan, uh, we have, you know, a lot of resources as far as medical uh, supplies and stuff like that. We had swabs for COVID-19, you know, real swabs. So <laughs> Sheree swabbed herself the first time. Well, it wasn't even that, though. So, like, we had really good friends of ours, you know, that... Okay. needed to be tested yeah, right yeah so i was exposed to people that were positive right and this was right around the same time that i started getting you know a little bit of sickness right and i wasn't feeling good and it all started honestly with just a sore throat yeah. and everybody like you could just you could lose out on some sleep and then be like i just have a sore throat i mean how many how many of you guys out there have been like lost out on some sleep one night and just woke up the next day and you're like Ugh, i have a little bit of a sore throat oh whatever i'll just get over it usually that's one thing that gets inflamed first it's like a sore throat if you've done that and you have right. your tonsils right a guy like me i don't have my tonsils anymore so i really never have sore throats yeah know? he got yeah point. but the way this went down was like <clears throat> really 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 messed up okay so like John was saying, you know, I did the initial swab because I'm like, well, you know, we did have some positive cases, you know, that weekend I started getting a sore throat and I'm like, well, obviously I'm like, well, if I have access to do the swab, why wouldn't I swab? You know, so I was like, well, let me go ahead and swab. So <clears throat> we did the swab. And at that time, I mean, right now at that time, I think it was still like, you know, well, how long was it taking? Still like five to seven days. Yeah, almost. it was still taking like five or seven days to do it. <clears throat> to get back like the, the results. The results. <clears throat> and at that point, listen, Sharice, you know, if they want to claim those as symptoms, you did have symptoms at that point. Mm. You, she was going through some of these symptoms, which, you know, made us think, hey, listen, we got to make sure. Let's swab. She swabbed. It, it literally took five to seven days. Um, at that point, it came back negative. So it came back negative, right? But, you know, someone like me, I'm super, 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 super in tune to my body. And I know when something is wrong, okay? Now, the way that it worked with me, though, is I didn't just get a sore throat. Like, so I got the sore throat, then I was tired, but I'm always tired because I'm working. So you start chalking these things up to the normal things that you would normally get, right? Yeah. And just think, there, COVID is not the only thing out there. You know, you have strep throat. You have influenza, you have influenza A, you have influenza B, you've got upper respiratory infections, you have sinus infections, yep. you have a million different things out there that it could be that it's just not COVID, it's that, you know? I mean, think about how many things affected us that we got sick from before COVID-19. A <clears throat> hundred things, right? right? And okay. you got a sinus infection. Okay, so that's not COVID, that's a sinus infection. So, um, you know, what really had me was when I woke up and I was like, it up real fast you know to just go take a shower and started feeling really dizzy and i'm like okay well this isn't right so then when i started feeling dizzy all of a sudden i started getting these shooting pains like up into the back of my neck and it went up into the back of my neck and it would almost like freeze everything and it's still happening now and i'm on day 23 and you know it would freeze everything in but my cleared of covid oh yeah i mean i'm totally cleared <sighs> But I'm still having symptoms, you know, like as far as like I'm still having these lingering things. But I have a, like a train of things going on right now, unfortunately. I just had a very, very, very unfortunate set of events that took mm -hmm. place back to back to back. So, you know, it shot up these little zings, I want to call yeah. them. And they make your eyes shake. And, you know, you can't, I, I felt like I couldn't see anything for about 30 to 45 minutes. And it was really blurry. That is a scary feeling when you cannot see okay now when you try to walk up and down the stairs and you can't breathe that's also a scary feeling so now you're short of breath you have double vision you feel like you're gonna pass out and you're like okay what's going on now the crazy thing about when you know i'm coming down with this is that i mean i didn't spike some super high crazy fever either right I wasn't at like 104 fever and I have a thermometer in my house. I have a thermometer at the office. I check my temperature. I didn't have a fever like that, you know? So all these different symptoms for all these different people, it's not even like, you know, if you get sick, right? Say you have strep throat and you get patches in the back of your throat, you're going to get a sore throat. It's going to last about a week. You're going to put on antibiotics and then it's going to go away. You know, you get a sinus infection, you spit up green, you, you know, you have these ugly colors that come out of your nose, you get sick, you have a headache for X period of time, and you get over it in this amount of time. This, it's like, who knows? You know, you got one person that they get diarrhea for two days and a cough for one day and boom, they're fine. 
Then you have one person. They're they're also positive. They're running around asymptomatic. Not even not not even a sniffle. Not even a sniffle. Then you got person number three. They got a headache. It won't go away. They have a headache for five days. Won't go away. They have no sore throat, no nothing. Then you have person number four. They end up in the hospital. Me, personally, I end up in ICU. That is that's somewhere I have never been, ever. So, you know, it's it's really crazy like how it just affects so many people so different. And then to have access to be able to do the testing and then do the initial test for the initial test to come out negative. What if I didn't run the second test? Like, what if I didn't? What if I was a normal person, a normal patient, went to a normal clinic, got my normal swab, came out negative, and I'm suffering, right? I feel terrible. I'm sick as heck, you know? I'm short of breath. I can't breathe. I'm, you know, can't think straight. I have a headache. I literally cannot operate. Like, my hand-eye coordination, not working properly, just... I've never been through something like this ever in my life, you know, and then body aches as far as like not being able to like move my body and just feeling like flu like symptoms. It's not even flu like symptoms. And that's what I was actually, you know, before I was diagnosed positive for it because the second test came back positive. Like I told John, I told John it's going to come back positive. I'm like, I can't breathe. I was like, I'm only, you know, I'm under 35. I'm 125 pounds. I'm like, I don't work out every day, but I sure as heck can run up and down those stairs if I need to with a laundry basket. So don't tell me that if I need to go downstairs to go get a snack, I'm out of breath. (laughs) I think the real issue here and the problem was, was Sharice had underlining uh, infections going on with a bladder infection beforehand. And it was, it was pretty serious. Okay. In a bad position. And then, and then COVID supposedly started. Well, we didn't know in the beginning because she tested negative for the COVID-19. After that, we have x-ray at our office. So mm-hmm. ran an x-ray because that's one thing to look at. You know, some radiologists said, hey, listen, this is pneumonia, right? Mm-hmm. So we're chalking up to pneumonia because yeah. you can't breathe because of pneumonia, right? Okay, cool. It's you're having pneumonia. food in there. You're going to cough. It is what it's going to be. At that point, we said, listen, she said, listen, let, I'm going to swab again. I think it's a good idea. Swab again because, you know, we, it might be or it, we might have had a I didn't false feel negative. Right. I feel right. I feel right. At that point, listen, I had no symptoms or anything like that. So I'm like, yeah, it, it he can't be fine. COVID-19. He's telling I, me. I feel everything, right? I, I sleep next to her every night. I <sighs> kiss her, you know, every night. We're very close quarters, you know, doing our thing. So at that point, like, I'm like, I'm like, listen, I'll swab too. Just to show-